Good morning, folks. Today we're watching for a space weather impact in the solar wind. Another major quake strikes Vanuatu in a perfect Earth spot setup. The Pakistan catastrophe continues getting worse, and if you missed its release last night, got a must-watch video we hope you'll share. Let's come first over to spaceweathernews.com. Look at the last day of our star. The limbs are anxious, jittery, but a nice calm settles in over the Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. Solar flaring needs an intervention or something. No X-ray production of note from our star, despite the lone sunspot group being able to do so. Blue and red in close proximity, that little guy is so close to having delta-class magnetism. He's grown and morphed over the last day, may get his act together to flare, but likely not until it exits the Earth-facing portion of the sun. Solar wind, much calmer than expected as the next coronal hole stream has taken longer to arrive than anticipated. Probably a good thing. Earth's magnetic shield, quite calm at the moment. But of course there is something on the way and there will be more. Dark coronal hole down south with another one coming in from the left. This is not a rerun or a prank. That is another 7-pointer striking Vanuatu. USGS downgrading to 6.9 just like with the one a few days ago but that is two of them hitting there in half a week, and that's where the twin cyclone candidates popped up north of New Zealand. Earth spot connections, two cyclones formed, two quakes. Okay, I'm going to sandwich our bad news in between good news here. First, an aesthetic wonder, dust devil on Mars. Just a great shot from opportunity there. Unfortunately, that story about major flooding and then two feet of snow in Pakistan was only the appetizer just rippling the waters. The storm that followed up this week is much worse. Roofs collapsing, towns washing away, crops gone, bridges falling, people dying by the dozens, and folks, they're not getting any help. Another cold snap is on its way. The landslides are continuing and thousands, tens of thousands of people are going to have to figure out how our ancestors survived things like this. We're coming next to northern Africa. That low pressure node is what's driving the sand and dust content in the atmosphere there. Showed it a couple of days ago and here's the update. Insanely dusty, way more so than anywhere else on earth right now. Folks, if you missed it last night, we put out a video explaining our papers on the sun triggering earthquakes. Tempted to make it as simple as I possibly could. Easy charts, easy graphs, fairly simple concepts and if you didn't catch it, Please check it out. I've linked it for you right here on this page. And I don't like doing this, but if you guys can share last night's video, and especially the page with the information itself, we would greatly appreciate it. Spaceweathernews.com SPF. Observations confirmed by statisticians, now confirmed by subsequent observations. The sun triggers earthquakes, now let's tell the world. We've got pressure and radar in the U.S. and across the pond, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.